Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to install Battle for Middle Earth without having to have your play CD um, like I don't have twice in a row since I bought the game more than once. Alright, so anyway, what you're going to do is um, you're going to go to this website just so you have a reference. Uh, it will be in the description. Download all the things you need. They will also be in the description because half of these links do not work, but I will give you the ones that I used which in fact do work. Now, once those are all downloaded, um, the first thing you're going to want to download, it's going to take you the longest, is the torrent. Um, once that's downloaded, you just need to go ahead and open it. Open the file, or the folder that you downloaded it to, wherever you download it. For instance, this is where mine is. You're going to scroll to the bottom. It's probably going to be the second to last. It's going to be the dot r a r the rar file you're just gonna open that up and i just drag and drop to extract it it'll take a minute let it finish all right now once that is done you're gonna go ahead and install daemon tools um, when you're doing that make sure you uncheck let me just open daemon tools for you and show you what i'm talking about Let's see here where did you go? Okay, here we go. DT Lite 4, whatever it's called. Blah, blah, blah. It might ask me if I want to cancel. Alright, next. Yeah, it's not going to let me do it. Yes. Um, just make sure you uncheck the little boxes to, you know, install toolbars and crap. Um, just uncheck them and you'll be fine. It's going to install some kind of stupid, like, Microsoft Office software that you can just uninstall. Um, also, you're going to probably want to make a folder on your desktop somewhere, just so you can download this stuff. Um, so all the things you're going to download, the patches, um, these things here, uh, let's see here. The patch, the 1.06, the BT, basically the 1.07, the mini image, and the hider, you're going to want to just kind of keep it in the same folder so you know what's going on with them. Um, granted, I don't have the two of them in there. Um, if you want, you can go ahead, once they're downloaded, you can extract those as well to the folder that you want to. Both of these files, just drag and drop them. The SD4 hide, drag and drop. Alright, so once you have Daemon Tools installed, you're just going to go ahead and open it up. It's going to open. I'm going to go ahead and clear these for you so you know what it's going to look like for you. Uh, maybe it won't let me. Give this a second. Alright. Once both of those are unmounted, this is what you're going to have. Um, mine is the recently used images. If you want to just click the plus button there, navigate to wherever you downloaded the game torrent. Okay. So mine's here. And it's only going to be, it'll be the only one that's allowed to open. It'll be the RAR file, which is your ISO file. You just click open. Okay, see how it's here? If you want to just double click that, or click it rather, and then click play, it should mount it. Okay, it's not going to do that. Never mind. Skip that. Let's just delete this. Anyway, you hit the plus, the DT plus. Let's go ahead and hit that twice, let it install two of them. And for the first one, you're going to mount it, choose the F drive, whatever it sets it to, which is the DT is dash zero, hit OK. It's gonna it's gonna put that there. If you want to do auto run, doesn't matter, you can just click X. Just double click it and it will start this the loader. Um, mine's already installed, but you just hit install, put your key in, let it install to where it normally installs. Okay, and then once you're done with that. That's the wrong one. Alright, you're going to let that install. Um, then you are going to want to find your 1.06 download. Um, mine is not here. Um, basically, you just go to it wherever you downloaded it. Um, for instance, mine is up 
here. I just dropped it in here because I wasn't sure what to do with it. Um, if you just double click it, hit run, just hit OK, it'll patch it for you, and then it'll be done. You just hit done. And then you want to find the all in one patcher and switcher. Just double click that, you install it, it'll be good to go. Now, at this point, if you try and play the game by doing this once it's installed and it's all patched, it's not going to let you do anything. See, it's going to load. Please insert a CD-ROM and select OK and restart application. It's going to close on you. Now, you should already have these extracted. You're going to go ahead and, with this one, I'm going to add, go to wherever it is, wherever the um, the mini image is, like this is my mini image. Got a different folder. So click it, open. I don't think I clicked it. There we go. Anyway, it'll come, it'll pop up in here somewhere for you. And you just double click it, DT1, hit OK. And it's gonna come out here. It's gonna pop up. And we're just gonna go ahead and close that. Now that is open. You want to go ahead and run SD4 hide, and you're going to do this every single time you want to play the game. You're going to hit hide, and you can just leave it. Set it and forget it. Then you open, double click that, it'll open your game. And then you hit play. Da -da -da. And the game will start. But I'm not going through all that. Or maybe I'm going to go through all this, whatever. <sighs> Quit. As you can see, it's working. Um, if yours, the splash screen popped up and it wasn't 1.07, um, I'm not sure if I skipped the step or not. But I believe I did. So, where is it at? Um, <laughs> okay, you just find. It'll probably be under your start icon, your start wow, window. You just look for this. Um, for you guys, it's probably going to be located in your C drive, program files. It's going to be right here somewhere. I like mine is called Patch Switcher. You just double click that icon, or that, that file, and it'll be this, and you click Patch 1.07, and you're good to go. Um, now, if yours doesn't start like mine did, what you'll need to do is go ahead and find your, you go to C Drive, Users, whichever one you're using. Um, if you don't have show hidden files on, I'll go ahead and do that real quick. You go to folder options under organize. Let's go back a second. Organize, folder and search options, view, hidden files and folders, show, apply, OK. Um, and then you go app data, roaming, that one. And if you don't have the options, um, you're just going to right click, new, text document, just name it options.ini I'm not going to do that because it's going to mess mine up but you open it, it's going to be empty I will put in the description what you need to fill it in with you're going to fill it in, file save and it should save it for you as options with a little cog there um, you won't have the maps folder, or at least you probably won't have the maps folder um, if it doesn't start for you the first time. Um, also, if that doesn't work, you can we can try and put it in compa compatibility mode and run it as administrator, but that should solve the problem. Um, other than that, you should be good to go, and then you can just play it. Um, now, for us playing over LAN together, we will need Hamachi, which will also be. I don't even have that downloaded. Let's see. Hamachi. Bring 
this over here for you. Just type in Amachi, go here to download it. What am I doing? I don't want to log me in. Uh, what's this one? Yes, this is what I want. Try it for free. Oh god. Okay, create an account, I guess. I'm gonna log in. Uh, well, that's an email address. Anyway, download it, create it, create an account. I'm not sure what the heck, this is dumb. This is pretty dumb, you have to create an account for it. Anyway, download it, install it. Um, let's do this, like this button. Save file. Start that. Run. Next. Next. Uh, fine, you can install there. I don't care. Give it a give it a quick sec. I'm gonna launch. Oh, and for us to be playing on this, we're gonna all have to have the 1.07. So make sure you have that. Or it's not it's not gonna work. It's gonna start. At least I hope this works. I don't I don't even know if it's really gonna work, but we're gonna try it. If not, I'll find another way. But at least you'll be able to play offline. Some of you will enjoy that. Okay. Are you gonna hit this? Oh sure. It's gonna probe. Um, and all you guys are going to do is just join an existing network. So you're going to click the... Oh, uh, yeah, fine, home. Whatever. Uh, you're going to join an existing network. I'll give you the network ID and the password. And you'll be good to go. And we sh that should be all you need. Um, yeah, that should be it. Uh, and there you go. That's, that's all you need to do. See ya.